Hi. Okay, I'm gonna be working on making stickers. So the first thing I want to do is explain the three different options that we can use to make a sticker. We can use an SVG, a PNG, or a JPEG. PNG and JPEG are printable files, but the difference is that a PNG has no background and a JPEG has a background that you need to clean when you upload it to Design Space. And the SVG, it's a file that has each color in a different layer to make it, for example, iron-on, vinyl, or cardstock, proje cardstock projects. This one you can also use it for a sticker, but you need to flatten the image. That's the only difference. So let's go back here to our design space, and I'm going to upload an image of each one. And I am going to use Dr. Seuss. I bought those in uh, Etsy. Okay, so let's do the same image. Let's do this one. So we have here JPEG, PNG, SVG. You know what? Let's pick it one that has one, uh, one image, none of the other little parts. This one. Let's do number eight. So we have eight JPEG, eight PNG, eight SVG. Okay, so let's start with the SVG, which is the most complex one. Here it is. I can edit it. That's typically how SVGs are. Let me go back now, and I'm going to get number 8, PNG. And as you can see, it has no background. And I am going to save it as a print and then cut image. Now I'm going to go with the third one, which is going to be the JPEG. It's lagging. Okay, now we're going to go with the JPEG. Number 8, JPEG. And this one, you see it has a background, so we need to clean it. To clean this image, you use the magic wand. And uh, you want to always increase this number. Depending on the colors, you can go all the way to 100 or 80 or between 30, 40 to clean it. Because here we have a white and a black, we can go high with an 80 and we can clean the image perfectly. Now if the colors were more alike, you need to lower the number. So now that we clean the background, we're going to save it as a print and cut. And we're ready to start making our stickers. So we have the three files that we're going to insert in a canvas. And you're going to see on the layer side that the SVG is going to have different layers because of the colors that we're talking about. Each color is in a different layer. So we need to grab that image and flatten it. When you do this, you want that each part has to be exactly in the place where it has to be. You don't want any gap in between because otherwise it's going to show it when you make it. So that is this one. Then You see all the layers? I'm going to go ahead and flatten it. So now we're going to have three whole images. This alert image here is telling us that the image is too big. It needs to be 6.75 by 9.25 to fit in the print and cut option data Cricut has. So let's just make it 4 inches high, 4 inches high, and 4 inches high. So if I was send this to make it. It's ready. I'll just go make it and you'll see they're all stickers. But let me go ahead and delete two of them because they're the same and I just want to show you how to make the shadow box that I have shown in different videos. But I want to show you with only one image. So what happens is that if you send this to make, you see all the the angles here? It could possibly have some... It can rip the paper, tear the, the paper a little bit, tear the paper, I'm sorry, and damage the sticker. So the way to fix that is you have to make a shadow box. And what you do is, we're going to duplicate the image. I'm going to try to work a little bit faster. The video is going to be too long. And then I'm going to make a print screen of the image. If you don't know how to make print screens in your computer, you can always Google it. This is a Mac. Mac has 
it's very easy how to do this so I'm going to delete it and I'm going to upload the image which is here and I'm going to clean the background because it's like a JPEG and I'm going to save it as a cut image you're going to repeat this process as many times as you feel it's needed the, so those angles are not that sharp and it's going to be easier for Cricut to make them and it will be the same thing you make a print screen and you go ahead and you clean it and you upload it and you repeat the process I'm gonna leave it black because this has a black edge I'm gonna send this to the front I'm gonna grab both and I'm going to center them and uh, you see how the angles they're less sharpened now if you want to show to see more shadow you can always make this bigger now let's grab both align in the center and you have a little bit more black there alright so this is how you make stickers okay thank you